Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video, we're just going to go through Awaken Orders. Now, these Awaken Orders um, are relatively new. I say relatively. Uh, I think they're about um, six months old at this point uh, within the lifespan of the game. So, effectively half the lifespan of the game. Maybe not new at all. Um, so, um, they have been around for quite some time. Um, what do they do? How do you use them? How do you obtain them? Um, you know, is there a special way? Is there an event you can grind? Is there anything you can do to up the production of these um, Awaken Orders? Uh, now, firstly, what are they? So, let's go ahead and jump into our... Ooh, of course, got to get the, the mandatories out of the way. Um, let's jump into the Awaken tab down here in the bottom right. So, that's the Rune tab. Right next to the Rune tab is the Awaken tab. Now, this tab typically will only unlock uh, for heroes who have reached 9 stars and above. So, if we go all the way down uh, to the bottom heroes here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't, in fact, have any non-DD heroes um, who have uh, or who are below 4 stars, unfortunately. Um, Lee is the closest one. Um, but when I locked Lee to nine stars, that's four of the purple stars, um, I was able to uh, start awakening the different and various paths of the Light Seeker Synergy. Now, the Light Seeker Synergy, I've already uh, been through before, um, and I have, um, you know, I've already been through that before, and there is an entire video. Uh, on Light Seeker Synergy. So just type in Light Seeker Synergy onto Google uh, or into YouTube um, and you will find that. Uh, now, these Awaken Orders, typically you will use to uh, level up your units um, effectively uh, and to give them an additional synergy once they reach a certain level, uh, that level being level 9 or uh, star level, level 9. Um, there is one, two, three, four, five, and then six stages in total uh, of this Light Seeker Synergy. Um, and each different one offers various different uh, perks and bonuses, typically increasing the attack um, of your ultimate and of your active skill. And giving 5% here, uh, increasing basic damage. Um, or basic attack damage and then giving a 10% increase and then finally get into the light seeker synergy as well um, now these awaken orders can be obtained through de various different events within the game as you can see bear with me sorry about that um, had to sneeze so um, as you can see um, through this event, the Gloomwoods Expert, we need to grow 5 vile flowers over the course of a 7 day period Ooh, bear with me again Sorry about that. I grow lavender in my garden, uh, and my wife has brought it in, uh, thinking it will uh, smell very nice, and it does smell very nice. Um, but I am, uh, I, I do have hay fever and allergies, so it doesn't really help. Uh, so, as I was saying, um, we need to grow five different vile flowers in order to obtain this, which is a Marina Awaken order. We go into uh, Labyrinth Expert, and as you can see, we need to complete the Labyrinth five times, or... Um, Complete the five missions here, so defeating a total of 12 enemies, 18, 24. Defeat the final boss two times, and defeat the final boss three times, and we get these Awaken Orders. Uh, each different non-DD character uh, has exclusive uh, Awaken Orders, so you'll need to collect... Um, each one individually now they don't come as part of the relic vault uh, and they don't come as part of the abyss crusade typically if we go into our um our level awards here uh, you will get some awaken orders for the new unit if you get high enough rank um, you'll also get one copy of the unit as well as uh, i believe that you can get them uh, the awaken orders within here as well bear with me uh, apparently not. Apparently you can't get the Awaken Orders within there, um, within the actual Eternal Decrees themselves. Uh, but um, you can also, I believe, get uh, get these Awaken Orders uh, through uh, the um, mission events, or the uh, the event missions, sorry. Uh, 
by playing through the story mode and those will be specific to the new character uh, that is effectively free to play so uh, next season if they release um, for example Aphrodite uh, I, I suspect Aphrodite will be one of the the new heroes next season if they do release um, Aphrodite is a free to play which is very unlikely because I mean you know she's she's prime she's prime product um, but if they did for example you would get the copies of the awaken orders for her through here now you can only obtain awaken orders for non dd heroes so if we go into um if we go into lachesis here as you can see um i don't have an awaken tab down at the bottom right i just have the runes tab at the bottom right whereas if i were to go into shadow arcs uh, and i were to click along here um you'll be able to see uh, the Awaken tab will be available for all of these uh, different units except for the epic heroes you won't get any of those so as you can see um, that's where you would typically uh, get the Awaken orders from uh, and where you would um, use the Awaken orders specific to that character uh, now there are, there are other places where you can um, get these Awaken orders uh, I believe there is a Valkyrie's Gift where you can purchase the Awaken Orders um, random boxes. There is also events uh, such as if we go into Season, we go into Miss Merchant and we go into the Rank Shop. Um, you can purchase the Awaken Orders here. As you can see, um, I've spent all of my blue currency uh, on these Awaken Orders, maxed it out uh, and I'm now currently saving up uh, for the next one as well uh, so this refreshes in a day so if I were to have say um, you know 8,000 uh, of this currency I could go ahead and buy 16 of these awaken orders um, and you will get a random one typically with these chests they're spread throughout the entire game um, there is none uh, none on this at the moment so uh, there is the treasure hunt where you can purchase them for 1500 uh, diamonds and as well I think it's a fair amount of these shells uh, that you can pick up and you can collect and you can get uh, one awaken order for 1500 I would never suggest buying those because they will come naturally uh, to you as well one sec now um, the final place that you're going to be able to obtain these awaken orders uh, is by going through here so if i go into the awaken and i can see there is a convert hero here so we can't convert any more atrops uh, into awaken orders because the uh, awaken level is at max so we do have light seeker unlocked uh, however if i go to a hero that i do have a copy of um somewhere maybe Okay, apparently I do not have a copy. Tell you what, let's go ahead and let's uh, get Solomon awakened to Light Seeker. So I jump into here. Do I have Solomon in here? I do, in fact, have Solomon in here. Let's go ahead and purchase one Solomon. Well, I'll say purchase. Use one of these tickets uh, on Solomon. Uh, and what we can do is we can jump into our Heroes tab. We can click on Awaken and we can go to convert hero now this convert hero option is only available if you have a hero up to 15 stars um, so let's go ahead down here so if i were to go to uh, lily and leah if i were to go to albert if i were to go to persephone as you can see it is missing from here uh, and the reason for that uh, is because i don't have them up to 15 stars if I had the unit up to 15 stars, I would be able to use any excess copies that I have. Uh, what? If I were to, yeah. So if I were to, uh, if I were to have any excess copies, uh, I would be able to then go ahead and uh, awaken the hero. So let's go ahead and convert Solomon uh, into four of these Light Seeker tokens. So after conversion, any excess awaken orders of the same hero will, will be converted to random awaken orders 
for other heroes continue with the conversion yep we want to go ahead and continue so we did get three and as you can see i've got one for sylvan there so let's go ahead and convert and we have awakened solomon's light seeker synergy so for every one stack of buff gained by light seeker heroes uh, increases their damage boost and damage reduction up by four percent up to 20 stacks uh, i've been through all of this before um, i've run through all of the uh, different teams and various different um, perks of having the light seeker synergy active um, but it is effectively uh, to mirror in short it's effectively to mirror uh, the uh, the royals buff so if we go into royals here let's have a look uh, and down here uh, each stack of buff and ally unit gains increases their damage boost uh, and damage reduction by four percent up to 20 stacks so um, it is what it is you know um, i don't think it's super important uh, not until you get to very very late game so as you can see i've got uh, a lot of heroes uh, at 15 stars already the majority of the ones that you can buy from the shops um, there's a couple which I am missing, um, but um, you do need the, uh, yeah, but, uh, as I said, um, you do this over the course of the game. It's not something to chase after. It's not something that you should, uh, that you absolutely need for end game. It's not something that, um, you know, uh, something that you should chase and you should actively purchase them. They will happen naturally over the course of the game. So by the time that you get sort of Ellie up to your um, 15 stars, you start to get copies of it. You start to be able to purchase excess copies from the guild shop. Um, and then you can go ahead and awaken her. Um, again, don't chase it. It's not worth it. Um, I 100% think that this Light Seeker Synergy um, is just there to use up the additional copies uh, as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can uh, awaken anyone else uh, while we are here. So you can see I've got 04. Just uh, a quick heads up. I believe it's 24 the total. Um, so I believe it's 24 copies in total uh, or 24 of these awaken orders in order to get to light seeker synergy um so let's go ahead and have a look so this would be four eight uh 12 16 21 and then five again uh two yeah so five again 21 26 so it is 26 in total um i believe oh no this is three this is three this is three uh do i have any yeah, that's three. So this is three. This is three. Uh, so that's six. Plus four is ten. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. Nineteen. Uh, yeah, twenty-four in total. I was right the first time. Never, ever doubt your instincts. That's what we learned from this video. <laughs> um, but it is twenty-four in total. Um, and as you can see, the majority of mine are not filled out. Uh, I have got a couple over the course of the the game so we can go ahead and activate marinas here so she'll gain an additional five uh, percent attack defense and hp um, but i have not chased marina in any way shape or form i've not chased any of these units they have all been through um, sheer random chance and just participating in events uh, getting as many of the rewards as i possibly can and these uh, awaken orders do come as part of those rewards as well so as you can see, I'm pretty close uh, to Halisa, but I think in order to finish Halisa, I'll need to get her up to 15 stars first and then uh, pop her on the Light Seeker Synergy. Um, it is helped that they are giving out for every new DD hero uh, that does come out, they will be giving out a lot of these uh, Light Seeker Synergies. And let's just have a quick check because I've just remembered you can also get them in Chaotic Space. So let me just show you. If I go all the way up to here, you do get one Awaken Order for Lee, uh, if you make it up to level 64. Um, but I don't, personally, I don't think anybody is getting that Light Seeker token. Um, and <laughs> the reason for that is because I don't think anybody's passed that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so, main tank has got up to 64. He is um, in mine. He is top notch. He is the highest power level uh, in the game. Um, 
followed by Psy, Avi as well, uh, up to you know sort of level 62 for all of these, as is everybody else just sort of stuck um, at that sort of level 62, the highest uh, that we can get to. So I don't think anybody's getting that last one. So I don't think it really matters too much. Again, it is not something to chase. It is just something to build up naturally over the course of the game. Um, the only ones that I think that you should chase, personally, um, is Atrops. And the reason that you should chase Atrops Awaken Orders as much as you can um, is because of this. Baptism, Baptism of Dawn additionally heals the target for 10%. And prayer additionally heals the target for 10% as well. Uh, those for me, the ones for support units, um, are very, very powerful. So if we go ahead and have a look at Lily and Leah's as well, I believe that's slightly different. So, yeah, as you can see, um, Dance of Hope additionally applies two stacks of defense boost. And then, um, yeah, so it applies two stacks of defense boost. So that second light seeker synergy there. Again, I'm not going to go through all of them, I've been through that in a separate video. Go ahead and check that out if you want more information. This is just how to obtain them, what they do, um, and where to go from there. So the final perk is that you do get uh, Lightseeker Synergy, uh, the faction power here. So I can go ahead, activate Solomon, uh, and I will gain 1500 HP, 200 attack, and 100 defense. So not too much, but if you were to activate all of your heroes collectively, um, it would add up to a lot, if that makes sense. Uh, so... Yeah, it's, it, is, it is a lot um, altogether when you look at it, but uh, it's going to take a very long time uh, for anybody to max out like Seeker Synergy. Uh, it really is. Um, now, that's it from me. Uh, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, if you have any questions or you think I've missed anything, um, please, please comment down below uh, because it not only uh, cures me of my ignorance, but it also helps other people um, as well other players um, who may be, you know, if I've said something incorrect, uh, they will be able to uh, learn from that experience as well. So just want to say uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you can like the channel, uh, or like the video, um, be really appreciated. And if you can subscribe to the channel, trying to get to that uh, 500 mark and then eventually to the 1000 subscriber mark. Um, and I noticed that only sort of 20% of you um, are subscribed when you're watching the video all it takes a little click down below if you like the content uh, and it will uh, really help me out really really help me out so thank you very much for watching um, i hope you have a fantastic day um, and yeah good luck